Um, if you ever remade Twisted Metal 2, says Babyface, would you remove the Statue of Liberty getting stripped to a bikini to please today's oversensitive left? Um, well, I take issue with the oversensitive left comment. I think that's just... Um, here's what I would tell you. I would definitely get rid of the... I would replace the version of the Statue of Liberty where she's in the bikini and fat um, because that is kind of body shaming. And I, I don't think that works anymore. Certainly not for me. I think that's cruel. Um, I, 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 would I change the bikini though? Um, I would not change the interactivity of shooting the Statue of Liberty and having it do something, but I probably would change the bikini. Yes. Um, well, you, you know, Mr. K is like, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, here's what you have to understand. You, you're talking to a guy that is, can articulate this position that I just got done saying that I love movies with tits and ass and, and, uh, horror movies with gore and blood. And my favorite are tits and ass movies with, hor with, with, with blood and horror and, and guts. I'm not the, the, the appeal of these things isn't lost on me. And I think the ability uh, to express these ideas, just like if I were to make God of War again, I would, of course, put sex in it, okay? But there's a difference that, again, I'm not saying y you should feel bad about it um, if you like it. But Darth Nugget is saying, well, what's wrong with a bikini? Nothing's wrong with a bikini. But if you are basically... It, 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 it's, it's the context, right? It's, it's, it's basically shooting something to create like a 14 year olds like, Whoa, isn't that hot? She's in a bikini in that funny. It, 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 it just feels very, um, like it, it, it just feels kind of sexist. Um, honestly, um, it, it feels kind of, you know, and again, I'm not opposed to games being overtly sexist. I just don't want to make a game that's overtly sexist. I, I, I don't have a problem with it. It just feels like you're putting something out there. The audience is diverse now. And even if you're not a woman playing the game and you're a guy, it sends this kind of message, in my opinion, at a very subtle level. Um, that, you know, that it just, it, it just kind of feels like you're getting rewarded as a player in a way that is objectifying someone who's not asked to be, um, objectified. It's, you know, it feels weird. Um, I didn't misunderstand it. I don't think you're opposed to sexual stuff. I just think your nomenclature is too extreme. I do think it's cruel. I, I think it is cruel. I don't think that's extreme. I'm not saying it's cruel like you're beating a baby seal over the head, but you're putting something out into the zeitgeist, into the universe where you're saying uh, it could it could be one of the... Look, man, how many people, how many times a week does somebody call on this show saying, Jaffe... Uh, I want to, I want to thank you for my childhood, right? I mean, the games that you make, whether they're hits or misses or in the middle, there are people that grow up with them and are affected by them. Okay. And I'm not saying that somebody seeing the Statue of Liberty in her bikini totally turned somebody into a sexist asshole, but planting seeds of what in normalizing things, you know, I, I would be more responsible about it now. Um, Babyface says, Jaffe, you created Twisted 2 with a team. Did your morals or how you felt about women change? No, but what changed was women have become, I, I, I have more women have been able to communicate the problems with this stuff in a way that got to my brain that made sense to me, which is of course there was, you know, hardcore women's lib and stuff before I was born. It's not like I didn't know about it in the nineties, but it wasn't expressed to me in the way that it's been expressed in the last 20 years. And I look at it now and I just say, yeah, I, pr I probably wouldn't do it, but I would defend your right to do it. Um, 
Zaf says, I'm tired of this checkbox, everything not to offend. That eventually leads to censorship on the level of China. That's where we're headed if we continue down this road. I'm sorry, but again, man, I, we're, we're, you know, I can't tell you where we're headed any more than you can tell me where we are headed. But I'm absolutely sorry. You, you, you don't get to paint me because I haven't earned that, uh, that image. You don't get to paint me as one of these guys that is, is, is like some SJW to the point of don't ever offend anyone. Right. It's not, I, I, I just said, make all the shit you want to make, make what uh, you have the right you have. I would defend your right to do it. Um, and you should be able to do it if you enjoy it. But I'm saying that if you are making a big budget game for millions of people to enjoy, you know, there's a famous quote from Maya Angelou that says, when you know better, you do better. And while I appreciate that you feel that a lot of your fun stuff is being taken away, it. I'm very much in line when I hear people and they're not these kind of far left radical feminists that a lot of people like to make fun of. I under look, I know people, I know teenage girls and my friends, uh, my, my friends, friends who have, you know, eating disorders and shit because, you know, they grew up with YouTube with a guy, I forget what his name is, who would literally girls would send in pictures and he would circle parts of their body and rate them and stuff. And th these are like 10 year old girls watching this. And now they're almost adults and they have massive eating disorders. I mean, you can sit there and go, oh, it's fucking funny. It's fucking funny for you. And it's harmless maybe for you. But when you are shown the ramifications for people, I choose not to partake in it at that level. Right. That doesn't mean if I was to make a movie and I wanted to make a, a TNA hardcore horror movie, I would do it. But I would say, yeah, I'm going to budget it right. I want to make sure it's marketed right. I want to make sure people know what this is. Um, but I wouldn't put it like in a mainstream video game from Sony. I, I just don't I, I don't think that's the way to do it. Um, uh, I'm not saying you, Jaffe, I mean, socially where we are now, but people are limited in their creative expression because we are so scared. I show me, show me someone who's limited in their creative expression. I'm not saying you're wrong, but to me, this feels very much like the sky is falling. Where, where have you seen a creator of video games go online of any repute and go, um, you know, uh, I can't express myself through my video games. I mean, is that, I'm not saying you're wrong, but where does that exist? Comedians have every right to say exactly what they want. And no, the government has not stepped in. We're not talking about, uh, what was the comedian's name in the 60s? Abby Hoffman, is that his name? Was No, not Abby Hoffman. Uh, come on, famous comedian. Uh, iconoclast, uh, before George Carlin, what was the guy's name? Uh, Hoffman. Uh, Dustin Hoffman played him in the movie. Uh, anyway, you know who I'm talking uh, No, not Andy Kaufman. Uh, come on, what's the guy's name? What the fuck is his name? Uh, he got arrested. Lenny Bruce. Thank you, Magello. Lenny Bruce. Right. We're not talking about the government coming in and saying, you can't say that. That's, that's not what's, that's not what's happening. Um, comedians are being yelled at and said, you can't come to this venue, but it's private company. The gov, the government's not stepping in and saying, you can't tell your, your jokes. Um, Kyle says, no one is limited. We assume they are. How much shit went over Abby in The Last of Us 2 and she wasn't even trans? It was a perception that pissed people off. I'm not sure I understand what your comment is, though. Um, the Sinran Kagura developer. Okay. Uh, what, who is, let me look that guy up. I don't know who that is. Uh, let's, let's look at him up together, shall we? Uh, Sin Gan... Okay, so you're saying this guy, who the, the fuck is he? Uh, it's a video game produced by Marvelous, um, the franchise group of female shinobi. Uh, is it illegal? Sony bans the game over sexual interaction with underage girls. Well, I mean, it's if that 
descriptor is right, isn't that interactive kitty porn? I mean, I do think, you know, kid porn should be illegal. Uh, is that, I don't think that's what you're saying, though. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. Um, I feel like you're free to break someone or something offensive down, but you should also be responsible to build that someone back up. Um, I mean, I don't think it should be legal. Um, illegal not to do that, but that would be a nice thing. Um, they don't say it because they get in trouble, says Zaf. Says who, though? You're, I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm like, if you don't have any specific... If you don't have any specific um, examples and you're saying, well, trust me, Jaffe, they're out there. They're just not talking. Okay. I mean, I can tell you as a guy who worked in video games for over 20 years, I never experienced it. And I had violence and sex in my games. None of my friends have ever come up to me and said, Jaffe, can you tell me how to deal with Sony? I really want to put this in Ghost Tsushima. How do we get it in there? I've never heard any of this. Um, I think Kyle, you're right. There is more outrage over the perception of changes than people pushing for the actual changes. Right. I mean, and again, to be fair, Sony doesn't owe the developer. Sony's a company. Sony doesn't owe their programmer, their lead designer, the freedom to make whatever the fuck they want. Um, they're, you know, they're funding it. They're basically, you know, um, Kyle says, we talked about a black trans life matters the other night. No one was mandating that shirt, but people got pissed that someone may have. Well, I'm sure the creative director said, I want that in, or someone on the team created it. And the person, the powers that be on the team said, let's keep that in or didn't bother to take it out. So, I mean, somebody had a final call, which said, keep it in the part they cut is you groping and slapping teenage ninja girls in the game, but the game is still playable. Okay. I mean, again, what, what, what do you, what do you want them to do? You know, are you telling me they're lying about, here's what they're saying, right? Um, here's what they're saying. Uh, we feel whether it's in the lore or not, um, that we don't want this on our system made by a private company um, without some changes. They have that right. Just like you have the right to not buy it. But I mean, I don't know, man. I, I just, I just think you're getting upset over stuff. That's, you know, not real. You know, so they, they, they basically said, look, we're, we're going to, we want changes if you want to be on our platform. And then people said, we want to be on your platform. So they made changes. I mean, you know, movies change every day to appease all kinds of people. Oh, Diet Coke is sponsoring or is, is giving us money to, to, to be in the movie. And they have a problem with this scene do we want to give them their money back or do we want to basically change this one line of dialogue i mean this this shit gets decided on all day long um eddie says i think sony should be more transparent with their censorship rules last of us has sex scenes and dmc5 censored a butt on ps4 yeah it would be nice it, it would be nice i mean it would be good pr they clearly don't need to um Bad Boy says, I think the problem with all the woke culture cancel stuff is the fact that people are reading into stuff that they want to and then pointing their finger at accusations and not the material. Yeah, a lot of it, a lot of it does seem to be that there is a lot of people who are, you know, like you're saying, that, that are kind of, you know, like, oh, this is the beginning of the end and we're going to be China. And it's like, if we're going to be China, we were always going to be China. You think they weren't censoring movies and TV shows in the fucking 50s? In the 70s and the 80s, I mean, it's it's the free market, man. It's capitalism. They're not doing it because, trust me, some of these people who do the creative work that everybody loves so much are some of the freakiest motherfuckers on the planet. They're not, they're, they're, they're going, yeah, we're not opposed to it, but we want to make money, you know? Um, right, Magello says it's called accountability in the free market. Um Darth Nugget says the Five Nights at Freddy guy can't even donate to Republicans without getting canceled, let alone put something controversial in his game. Sure he can. He absolutely can do that. 
he can't do that, you know, and not risk um, pissing off the fan base that he has grown that has that have that are very liberal or progressive. But what would you what are, should it be a law that they can't walk away from a product that they don't like anymore because they found out that the creator was someone that has values they don't agree with? He has every right to 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 donate to Republicans. Of course he does. He has every right to go to the as long as he's not breaking the law. If he's like, I couldn't wait to get to the Capitol on January 6th and watch the revolution. As long as he didn't do anything illegal, he has every right. And he shouldn't be fired because of that. I and mean, he wasn't. But you're going to tell the audience who they have to support just because that doesn't make any sense um, at all. Um, sad how China posters for Dune took out the, the black person. Um, yeah, he, he may be a transphobe, says Morgan. He doesn't sound like the kind of guy I want to hang out with, but, you know, he has a right to be a transphobe. He has a right to be anti-Semitic. Um, I think you're assuming writers reflect the actual population, Darth and Mr. K, of gamers. It's not actually defected in purchases. I'm not sure I understand that. Uh, Darth Nugget says, no gaming journalist should stop being, no, comma, Gaming journalists should stop being activists first and do their job and stop creating outrage. Uh, no, I don't even agree with that. You should stop reading it. And then they'll stop doing it. I mean, ultimately, right? I mean, I, I don't, I, I guess I don't understand. I, I, I'm not saying I don't know where you're coming from, Darth Nugget. But freedom of speech. Kotaku has a right to write whatever the fuck they want. And, you know, a lot of you guys are right leaning Republican types. I can't believe you don't support that. You don't have to agree with them. You don't have to read them. But as long as they're not breaking the law with slander and libel, then what do you care? You know, I mean, they should have the freedom to write whatever the fuck they want. Carlos says people keep saying the butt scene in DM five is censored on the PlayStation. What they don't talk about is how it was later put back. Why was it put back? Carlos, did they give a reason for it? Uh, Kyle says writers don't actually reflect their audience. A story got made of something that isn't actually in the heart of gamers. That's every day. I mean, where, where, and I'm not saying you're saying this, Kyle, but it sounds like you might be saying this. Um, so help me out if I'm, if, if you're not, where was it written that people who make your entertainment have to be short order cooks to reflect something that's in your heart? Um, they clearly are reflecting what's in enough people's hearts that they are staying in business. Right. Um, and trust me, all these decisions are about them staying in business and being more and more and more profitable. I guarantee you, there are probably some freaky motherfuckers at Sony who don't have a, who probably have an um, emotional intellectual problem with, with this issue, with this game, Sin, Sinran Kagura, but they probably go home at night. Who knows what's on their fucking laptop. Okay. But they also know that their own personal horrible thoughts aside, um, they know that if this gets picked up by the media and goes on Fox News and everyone says Sony's publishing pedophilia, um, they're going to take a fucking financial bath. That's what this is about. I mean, it's, you know, you think Sony, I mean, do I think a lot of individuals at Sony care about Black Lives Matter? Sure, because there's a lot of good people at Sony. Um, and I know some of you guys say it's, I'm not gonna, you know, let's just say equal rights. Okay. That's what we're talking about. But do I also think when they posted black lives matter, it wasn't because, uh, Herman Hulse came in one day and said, I really need to gather the whole team together to talk about this. It was a PR move. Clearly it seemed to me, um, I don't read the magazine, says Darth Nugget, but just like big corporations and the government, the games industry thinks Twitter and sales like Kotaku speak from the majority. They don't, though. They don't, Darth Nugget. I was in the industry. They, I, they don't think Twitter and sites like Kotaku speak for the majority. No, they don't. If, if, if they did, they wouldn't, they wouldn't you know, if, if everybody thought Kotaku spoke for the majority, then you would see nothing but games like Gone Home. You wouldn't see another Battlefront, Battlefield, Call of Duty, right? You, you wouldn't see it um, because that's not what Kotaku celebrates. 
they they're you know i mean look let, let, uh, one of the stories we were going to talk about um and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get into the weeds on it but a lot of the ubisoft employees are talking about as much as ubisoft is saying hey you're promising all these changes you haven't done shit. nobody cares nobody cares because look at this assassin's creed valhalla is the second most successful product in the history of ubisoft's company right so if people, if the industry thought Kotaku represented the mainstream thinking, then this wouldn't happen. The mainstream doesn't give a fuck about the sexual offenses and toxic workplace at Ubisoft. They're showing up in droves to buy this shit. Okay. Um, so I don't agree with that. Um, oh yeah. VR chat. Rob is awesome. Um, I'm not saying I agree with those values as Kyle. I think journalism, instead of relying on ad sales, drive impressions off invented outrage. Yeah, a lot of them do because that's what people are buying. That's exactly what they're buying. Um, stop buying it. Tell me, you know, I'm not saying no one in the chat does this, but do you spend your own money and subscribe to a, uh, whatever side of the spectrum you're on? Or if you're in the middle, do you spend your money on journalism at least once a month? Do you subscribe to a newspaper, a digital newspaper? You know, do you have a magazine subscription to an actual reputable news source? Because if you don't, you can't really blame people uh, or blame companies for going where the money is, right? I mean, wh what would you do? That's all I'm saying. All right, fellas. Well, that was a fun chat. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go uh, take a walk. Um, and then I am going to, uh, watch Chucky with my son. Uh, and then I'm going to probably stream a video game. I'm not sure if I am, but I probably will. Eddie T says it's like Jim Sterling crying every week about microtransactions and companies make more money from them every year. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Darth Nugget says, I'm going to start saying salt is sweet and wait for Jaffe's argument for why you're wrong. I, look, I'm not being contrarian. I, I, I just, I don't agree with you. I, I, I'm you know, we don't have to agree. Um, but I'm, I, I don't, I'm a guy, look, I mean, it, it, look, Darth Nugget, anybody who follows my stream and you've been on, you've been a member for a long time and you've, you've been part of the community for a long time, you know, as Mr. K will tell you, I'm the most progressive guy, you know, I am all about freedom of speech, freedom of expression. As much as I hate people like Ben Shapiro, as much as I hate people, uh, like that, uh, uh, the Barbie girl with the shotgun who goes, or the, the AK 40, whatever the fuck it is, the, the AR 15 that goes to college campuses. I was bothered when they weren't given the right to speak at these campuses, because I think people have a right to hear all kinds of things, even if they don't agree with them. I am absolutely a hundred percent in the camp of freedom of expression, freedom of speech, all that. But I'm also in the camp of private companies have a right to do whatever the fuck they want. Um, <laughs> thank you, Spaz. Um, I mean, right. Why you, you would really be comfortable living in a country where the government could step in and tell Sony, you can't remove that content from, you know, devil may cry. I mean, I wouldn't, that's actually how we get to China because in China, it's the government that says you can't play video games more than three hours on, uh, uh, a week. And it's the government that used to have until they just got rid of Fortnite altogether. Literally, if you played Fortnite for more than 90 minutes, a message came up and said, you need to stop playing and go study. That's the government. It's the government that is demanding all of this shit. That is how we become China. But these are private companies going, look, we're following the money. Um, and I'm not saying capital, I hate capitalism, like unregulated capitalism, but you know, I, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's worse than what they have in China, um, in terms of, of, of the freedom via the money system. I know that they're capitalists as well in, in some ways. Um, what happens when a game server shut down? Do they flip a switch and it's gone? Do they tell you when it's going to happen? Sure. Yeah, I mean, we knew Drawn to Death. I, I, I don't know if it's a legal thing or if it's a PR thing, but like most companies I know that shut down a service game give enough time 
because they don't want you to spend any more money. So like with Drawn to Death, we were like, okay, we're shutting down in six months or whatever it was, but we're turning off the store immediately or we're gonna, get, we're gonna keep the store up. If you have money, you can spend it if you've already bought coins or gems or whatever it was, but we're not gonna sell any more currency. And then we're gonna give you six months or four months or whatever it was to enjoy the purchases you may have made right when we made the news and you just heard it after you made your purchases and then it's going away. So I don't know if that was a legal thing or Sony just going, look, this is, it would be really shitty if we didn't, you know, give people ample time to prepare for that. But, um, um, Chucky's awesome. Oh, it's a great fucking show. Absolutely. Um, Kyle says, that was my point, Jaffe. Politically, I'm as left as they come, but I just think writers are making money off left values with no relief behind it. Yeah, they might be. But it wouldn't be the first time an entertainer or an artist claimed to be something and that wasn't what they claimed to be in order to get money out of your pocket. Um, I don't know where Darth Nugget went. I, I, I hope he's not upset. I'm not a contrarian with you, Darth Nugget. I'm just saying I don't agree with you. Your argument has not landed well with me, but maybe it landed with a bunch of other people. Trust me, if it makes you feel any better, um, there's a lot of people that agree with what you agree with, but I'm I'm not one of them. I, I'm a very big believer in freedom. Um, Darth says, I support companies doing what they please with their own products. I just don't like them doing things based on the minority's outrage. Again, you really you really have this perception that I don't think is, 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 has been earned via proper action. Not that's wrong. That has been earned through actually observable action. Um, if a company does something that you feel is based on the minority's outrage, it's not ever based on the minority's outrage. It's based on the desire for the unless the company just happens to be like Ben and Jerry's and they happen to be like super fucking left progressive and that's who they are as a company or super right or whatever but in most cases it's if the minority they're not afraid of the minority's outrage they're afraid of the minority's outrage being able to get clicks and news and ultimately hurt the PR game which hurts their bottom line potentially okay so don't don't get it confused. It, you know, it doesn't mean they agree with the minority view, although they might. And it doesn't mean that the minority view is telling them what to do, although it may be. Um, it means that th they are playing the money game, right? That's what they're doing. And that's okay if you don't like it, but it's not because they're like, we need to listen to Anita Sarkeesian because we want to, we want to make sure that people say that, you know, we're on the right side. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. Um, so, you know, uh, Lord Garth says, Darth has a fair point. He can vote with his wallet when he disagrees. True. Um, I'm hoping we get a Friday the 13th series. Now the lawsuit is, Oh, I hope we get a more Friday the 13th movies. Um, do you have the ability to create a private server for drawing to death? I don't have the technical ability. I'm not sure. I wouldn't know how to do it. Uh, instead of censoring everything, says Babyface, why not put more emphasis on the game rating? M for mature used to mean something. Maybe there should be a rating in C. Um, because, I mean, I, I, that, that's, that, that's potentially kind of a deeper issue, right? Because the ratings aren't law. Um, just like you can go to an R rated movie and the theater can have a private policy that says you can't come in if you're underage, but the government can't tell a 17 year old, he can't go see a rated R movie. Uh, cause the, the ratings are not, that would be against freedom of speech, right? They can say that that 17 year old has to live by the rules of the pub, the private business. But if the government created movie theaters, they couldn't tell people what they could and couldn't see based on age. So the ESRB um, can rate whatever the fuck they want, um, but ultimately it's up to the parents and it's up to the stores, which now with digital, right? Um, 
In fact, think about that, actually. Most games are being bought directly now from Sony, right? Well, if you put a NC game that has, according to Sony, underage, messing around with underage kids, and a parent buys it off the Sony stand, and Sony gets 30% of it, well, who do you think is going to get dragged over the PR coals when some parent goes, my kid was playing this game where you're diddling, you know, these 14-year-old girls, um, right? I mean, it's still the same thing. Um, no, Metroid Dread was rated SE for shoot every, no, it's S-E-I-G, shoot everything, I guess. Um, yeah, a lot of people still refuse AO games, even online portals do. Good night, Rob the Mod, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it as always. Where's everybody keep bugging Rob for his Monarch trailer? I'm tired of waiting. I want to see it. Um, the government has stepped in before because of outrage, says Zaf. The movie rating system and comics code were the result. That's not exactly true. Look how watered down comics became. They could do it again. Well, yes and no. The government didn't create the movie rating system and the comics code. Those were created by the business. Um, of comics and movies in order to prevent um, some kind of government regulation. But the truth of the matter is, is if the government actually tried to regulate content in video games or movies or comic books, the Supreme Court has ruled on all three of those that they fall under the First Amendment um, and have that protection. So the government can't step in and say, nope, you can't you know, if you don't have a rating system, we're going to tell you what game a kid can buy uh, or what game an adult can buy or a teenager can buy because that would be a violation of their First Amendment rights of the people creating it um, and the people wanting to, to purchase it. So I don't, I don't think that's accurate. Um, she's actually a 500-year-old vampire. Yeah, you're talking. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, you know. Um, Novodamus, part of what I do at work is what, Novodamus? Uh, did you... Uh, with a bunch of conservatives who don't even pretend to explain themselves. Um, I love you right back. Pause. Um, all right. Well, anyway, we don't have to agree, but yeah, I'm absolutely not in favor of, uh, uh, censorship, but I don't think what you guys are talking about is censorship. I think what you guys are talking about is the free market. Um, and the fact that, uh, companies don't want to, if they don't have to, um, you know, be, uh, uh, you know, they, they don't want to have to deal with the headaches and, you know, there are some games, I guess that Sony, let's just take Sony real quick, um, considers worth it. They probably look at the last of us, um, and they go, you know, that's a game that for our brand, we would really get hurt at a PR level. Even if somebody at Fox says, my kid was playing Last of Us 2 and there's a sex scene in it. Um, I think Sony would would probably even relish the opportunity to go on TV and say, this is art. It's one of the most popular games we've ever made. It's won all these awards. It's about this. It's about that. There's clearly a rating on the box that says it's not for a kid. Um I think sometimes they go to the mat for these games because it's PR. That PR is good PR. Just like not having to answer why you put games in your system where kids, where you can molest children, that's the PR you don't want, right? So I get it. Uh, in Britain, they banned horror movies and made it an arrestable offense. Yeah, Britain's different though, right? We started this chat off literally talking about a law that are trying to pass in London right now that says if you bully somebody online, you can go to jail. Well, that would never fly in America. Um, if you're in, if, if Zaf, if you're in England or you're in Europe, okay, I get it. You've been raised in that culture, but in America, for better and for worse, absolute freedom of expression or almost absolute freedom of expression uh, is 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 you know died in or or baked into the cake, and it's in our DNA over here. Um, Remember when Apple banned any game with the Confederate flag, regardless of context? I don't, and I don't. I wouldn't agree with that. I mean, again, that's, you know, I I I, I think the Confederate flag belongs in a museum. I think it's awful. I think it's offensive. But to not be able to have a game where you have a character who's a racist son of a bitch and he can't express it through a Confederate flag on his truck, I think that's pretty stupid. 